Candles have been used to light homes for centuries. Here's one from about a hundred years ago. The avid bookworm in the house used a special stand as a reading light. Back then, turning off the lights meant snuffing out the candle. And while most of us today like to blow out candles like it's our birthday party, it wasn't necessarily safe or tidy to do so back in the olden days. The molten wax near the wick would splatter with a quick breath. Nor was it desirable to have residual smoke wafting through the room just before bedtime. A candle snuffer was commonly used to extinguish the flame. Here is a more ornate model, about a hundred years old, made of silver. This kind of model is not hard to find in an antique market. And maybe your grandmother still has one in her drawer. It's like a pair of scissors with a chamber for clipping the wick. Smoke was abated and the wick was trimmed nicely, ready for the next lighting. But turning off the lights required a conscious effort, as it does now. Back then, you could imagine nagging your kids, sternly telling them, don't forget to snuff out the candle when you leave the room. I want to show you something interesting that I found in Stockholm, Sweden, a few years ago. If you've been to the old city in Stockholm, it's well worth visiting. Walking down the narrow, cobblestone streets, you can easily envision the days when candles and lanterns were the only way to light up a street, home or store. It was in this quaint antique store that I found a most curious device. A mechanical candle snuffer. At first I didn't know what it was, until the proprietor enlightened me to its function. It's a remarkably simple and clever device for not wasting valuable candle wax. Knowing how much of the candle you want to burn, you merely attach the clamp to the neck at the point where you want the flame to be snuffed out. Back then, you could imagine that people had a good sense of relating candle lengths to the amount of remaining time. The lever is jabbed into the hard candle wax at the point where you want the candle extinguished. When the candle reaches that point, the wax is gone and the lever collapses, bringing in the snuffer down with it. Voila! Lights out! I can't find historical record of this unique piece, but I diarize it as one of the first energy conservation devices. If we could do it a couple of hundred years ago, imagine what we could do now.